Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 2 Lesson 23 homework. So let's get started. Number 1, divide, then check using multiplication. Alright, A, we have 9,962 divided by 41. First we look at 99. 41 can go 2 times, which is 82. 99 minus 82. 9 minus 2 is 7, and 9 minus 8 is 1. 17. But 41 can't go to 17, so now we bring down the 6. 176. 41, let's see, how many times can go to 176? You can go 4 times. 170. Wait, no. 1 times 4 is 64. Minus. 6 minus 4 is 2, 7 minus 6 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, so 12. And bring down the 2, 41 can go, let's see, 3 times, I mean, just 2 times still, yeah. And to um, 122, which is 82, so 122 minus 82, that's just 40. So 40, 242 remainder, 40, 120, yeah. We can check our work. 242 times 41. <laughs> 2 times 1 is 2, 42, add a 0. Twenty-two plus our remainder forty, which is nine thousand nine hundred sixty-two. All right, let's look at B now. We have one thousand four hundred ninety-five divided by forty-five. See, fourteen forty-five can't go into fourteen, so one hundred forty-nine forty-five can go three times into that which is 135, and 9 minus 5 is 4, 4 minus 3 is 1. Now bring down the 5, 45 can go 3 times again, minus 135, that's 10, 33 remainder 10. We want to check our work, 33 times 45, 3 times 5 is 15, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16, 0, that's 12. So our remainder of 10 at 1,495. So our answer is correct. Let's look at C. 6,691 divided by 28. Let's see, 28 can go 2 times into 66, which is 56. We have 10 left over. Bring down the 9. 28 can go... Let's see, four times, three times to 109, oh, which is 84. I have 25 left over and bring down the one again. How many times can 28 go into 251? It can go, <clears throat> I think it can go nine times maybe. Oh, I think it's one away from nine. Let's see, eight times. 28 times 8, that is, yeah, 8 times, let's see, 28 times 8, 224, 1 minus 4, bar 10, 1 minus 4 is 7, 4 minus 2 is 2, and 2 minus 2 is 0, so 238 remainder 27, let's check, times 28, 8 times 8 is 64, and 3 times 8 is 24, plus 6 is 30. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 3 is 19. Zero, that's 16, 7. Here we add. So it's a remainder of 27. 6,691. So our answer is correct. 
All right, now D, 2,625 divided by 32. 32 can't go into 26, so 262, 32 can go eight times into that. Is 256. 5 of 10, 12 minus 6 is 6, 5 minus 5 is 0. So I have a difference of 6. Now bring down the 5. 32 can go 2 times into 65, which is 64. I have 1 left over. So it should be 82 remainder 1. I want to check 82 times 32. 2 times 2 is 4, 8 times 2 is 16. 0. Oh, so remainder one, two thousand six hundred twenty-five. So that means our answer is correct. All right, E, two thousand five hundred nine divided by nineteen. Nineteen goes once into twenty-four, so minus nineteen is five left over. Bring down the zero. Nineteen can go. Let's see, two times. Minus 38. 10 minus 8 is 2. 4 minus 3 is 1. And bring down the 9 again. How many times can 19 go into that? 19 can go 6 times, I think. 114. 9 minus 4 is 5, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So 1 to 26, remainder 15. If we want to check our work, 126 times 19, 6 times 9 is 54, 2 times 9 is 18, plus 5 is 23, and 1 times 9 is 9, plus 2 is 11. 0, 6 times 1 is 6, 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 times 1 is 1. Now we add, okay, 2394 plus our remainder of 15. 2,409. All right, and F, 5,821 divided by 62. 62 can't go into 58, so 592, 62 can go nine times, which is 558. Two minus eight, five, 10. 12 minus eight is four. Seven minus five is two. And 5 minus 5 is 0. So we have 24. Bring down our 1. 62 and 241. Let's see. 62 can go 3 times. Pretty sure. Yeah. That'd be 186. Alright. 1 minus 6 bar 10. 11 minus 6 is 5. 3 minus 8, bar of 10, 13 minus 8 is 5, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So 93 remainder 55. Now I multiply to check. 3 times 2 is 6, 9 times 2 is 18, 0. 3 times 6 is 18, and 9 times 6 is 54, plus 1 is 55. Now we add. And add our remainder of 55. 5,821. So our answer is correct. Next page. Number two, a political gathering in South America was attended by 7,910 people. Each of South America's 14 countries was equally represented. How many, represent how many representatives attended from each country? So if it was equally represented, that means an equal amount of people from each country went and represented each country. So to find out how many people represented each country, we do 7,910 divided by the 14 countries. Let's see, 79, 14 can go, I think, five times to 79. That's 70. I have nine left over. Bring down the 1, 91, 14 can go 6 times, I think, wait, yeah, 
6 times minus 84, 11 minus 4 is 7, and now bring down the um, 0, we know that's 5, so minus 70 is 0. 565, you can check 565 times 14, 5 times 4 is 20, 6 times 4 is 24, plus 2 is 26, 5 times 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22. A zero multiply by one. Seven thousand nine hundred ten. So that means five hundred sixty five people attended from each country. All right, and number three. A candy company packages caramel into containers that hold 32 fluid ounces. In the last batch, 1,848 fluid ounces of caramel were made. How many containers were needed for this batch? 1,848 divided by 32. Let's see, 184, 32 can go, I think, five times. Five times is 160. There's 24 left over, bring down the eight. 32 can go, let's see, eight times, 32 times, maybe seven times, 32 times seven. Yeah, I think seven times. 32 times seven, that's 224. Minus 2 and 24, 8 minus 4 is 4, 4 minus 2 is 2. So 24 left over, 57 rem rem remainder 24. If you want to check, 57 times 32. 7 times 2 is 14. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. 0. 7 times 3 is 21. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 is 17. So we add... And add our remainder. 1,848. So that means 57 containers um, were needed. But we have a remainder of 24 ounces. So we can't just fit that into the other containers because each container can only hold 32 ounces. So that means that it should be 58 containers were needed because we just round up we can't run down so yeah all right thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helps and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel see you guys next time bye